Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a quick section. We are done, pretty much done with section f chapter 4, section 4, but what I want to do here is actually push our entire application in the database to, um, to our Heroku app because we haven't done that in a while. We haven't updated the repository in a while, so uh, I figured we'd do that now. So um, what we can do is open up a shell prompt and we want to go into CD um, uh, C drive and the sites folder and then to the my Ruby blog folder okay what I want to do real quick is actually go to our local blog our local application and I'm gonna run the server because remember we can't use our we can't view our app on our local host unless we have the server running so when you have to be in the directory um, where the app is to run the server so I'm gonna go to um, my Ruby blog and I'm gonna do rails s which will start the server for us so I'll get this over here I'll just minimize it and if we go to local host 3000 and here's our app now the home page doesn't have any kind of dynamic content in it um, let's go to the posts page and this is what we what we've created so far um, these are all uh, fields in our database so what I want to do is is import this information into our Heroku database because it doesn't automatically um, import so if we go to our what was our um, my Ruby blog uh, dot Heroku app dot com I believe now we haven't updated our, our remote app either so I'm actually gonna do that first alright cuz if we go to posts on our remote app um, you see we still have these these are the static posts that we put in a few chapters ago so um, I wanna update it I wanna commit so we wanna do git add and don't worry about this this these messages that's not important right now and then we wanna do git commit and I'll just say uh, commit to Heroku oh we actually want to add the A and the M option after commit so AM so everything's committed now now we can push it we can do that with git push git push Heroku Heroku master Now this isn't going to update our database. It's not going to input the, the fields, the blog posts that we have on our local app. We have to actually do that s separately. And I should be updating this. I should be doing this at the end of every, every section. So I'll try to keep that in mind for upcoming sections. alright so that looks good let's go back to this is our remote app and it's slash posts so I'm reloading that now it says we're sorry but something went wrong and the reason for that is I believe we have some migrations that we did on our local app that we didn't 
do um, on our remote app. So we have to run the, we have to migrate it um, on the Heroku site. And we can do that with uh, Heroku um, run break db. I'm pretty sure that will do it. Hopefully. Uh, rake, oh, I'm sorry, that was wrong syntax. It's um, run rake and then db migrate. Okay. All right, that looks good. Let's go back to this page and reload. And here we are. So you'll see our posts are not here, the fields. This is our local our local site and we have these three um, posts. We don't have it here, but we do have the, the correct structure and we do have the correct database schema set up. Um, we just don't have the actual columns. We can add a new post here. Um, I'm not gonna do this right now because I wanna show you how to actually grab the database from our local site and and push it to the Heroku database. So we can do that by the command line. And what we want to do is we want to install an add-on that comes with Heroku called PG Backups. And that'll let us actually um, take a, a dump, um, take a dump, <laughs> take a SQL dump file and uh, import it into our Heroku site. So the first thing we need to do is install that add-on. So we can do that with Heroku add-ons um, add PG backups. Okay, so that's done. Now what we want to do is create the, the um, SQL dump file. And the way we can do that is with this syntax. We want to do pg password and then you want to put your password. This is your database password. Then we type pg dump um, and then we want to add capital F and C options, uh, two hyphens and then no ACL and no owner. We don't want this to have an owner because we want to be able to import it no matter um, who the owner is. Uh, what else? The host. The host is going to be local host. And the user will be um, Postgres. And this could be different depending on your database. Your password should go here which will probably be different than mine, obviously. Um, and then your username here. I'm using the default Postgres user. And what else? Now we need the name of our database, uh, which is, what was the name? One second. Oh, my Ruby blog. Okay, that's the name of the database. Then we want this greater than, and we want to name our file uh, my Ruby blog. Now it's going to be dot dump. Okay, um, let me just double check the syntax. All right, so that should give us a, a dump file, and it doesn't. You know what? This is we're working on Windows, and I know that syntax is it works on Linux Ubuntu. Um, I just gotta I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna pause the video and come back um, just to see if there's anything extra we need to do since we're on Windows. All right, guys, I found the answer. Um, when you're using Windows, you actually have to uh, use the entire path. You can't just use PG dump. That's why it was giving us that error. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to open our, our app. Um, one second. All right, so I'm going to go in our app, which is on the C drive, sites, my Ruby blog. 
and we want to get the the dump file generated and put here so let me just show you the syntax for that so we want to do with windows we need to have these double quotes okay and then we need to do the entire path so we have to do c program files x86 because this is where the um, the pg dump file is going to is located so postgre oh, no, sql um, the version i'm using now is 9 what 9.2 so that's what i'm going to put here uh, if you're using a different version just put it just change the 9.2 out and it's in the bin folder and then we want to do a backslash here and then pg dump and we want we need to have the dot exe as well and then double quotes and now the rest will be the same as as if we were on linux so fc no ACL, um, no owner, and the host will be uh, local host, and the user will be um, post price, and my Ruby blog my ruby blog and then the greater than sign and then my ruby blog dot dump okay so that should do it for us let me just double check looks good and then password this is the password for the database user and now if we go over here we can see it generated a file and we can look at that file which is just a bunch of crap uh, that's not important it's just that that's the that's going to be our schema uh, along with the database fields and columns so now that we have that we need to what we need to do is we need to upload this file somewhere on the internet where Heroku can get it and this can be anything it could be your your personal website or a staging site or whatever um, and you can do that. Uh, I use FileZilla for for all my file transferring, and I'm going to use my staging server. Obviously, this info will be different for you. So I'm going to put it in my public folder, my public HTML, and in my files. And FileZilla is free and open source, so you can download it. Uh, just do a Google search. And I'm going to upload this. And I'm going to remember that this is at techguystaging.com slash files. And then, then the, the database, the, the dump file name. So I can actually, I'm going to minimize that because I want to delete it after I'm done. So now what we need to do is we need to use pg backups to import the database and we do that with uh, heroku pg backups um, colon restore and we want uh, database actually we gotta put the database name there i believe um, database and here we want to use quotes and that's where we want to um, put our link to our the file we just uploaded which for me is um, http uh, tech guy staging files and my ruby blog dot dump okay All right, so what this is doing, it's telling us that this is a destructive action. And it's destructive because uh, it's going to destroy whatever database we have on Heroku and replace it with this one. And that's what we want to do. So it's just asking you to type in the name of the app. So mine will be my Ruby blog.
all right so let's go to our remote site um, we just want to go to let's first go to our home page make sure everything's all right all right so now if we go to posts we have our database fields all right so everything went good uh, we imported the database correctly and it's all displaying correctly so uh, that's that so in the next chapter uh, I believe we're going to be doing we're going to implement active admin which is a it'll be an admin interface for us to be able to log in and um, we'll be able to update and edit and create posts categories and users so I will see you in that chapter